Hey guys, how's everybody doing? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the One Inch Exchange. I'm going to walk you through the platform and give you a tutorial on how to navigate it and perform a transaction. And I want to take a deeper look into why One Inch Exchange differentiates, it differentiates itself from other cryptocurrency decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap and SushiSwap. So, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. If you guys find this video beneficial and you guys learn something, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it'll help me out a lot and I'll greatly appreciate that. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, the first thing that I have to mention, uh, I'm going to mention once again, is that uh, One Inch is a decentralized exchange and what decentralized exchanges allow you to do is basically swap tokens for other tokens that are usually built on Ethereum. In the future, this may be subject to change, but as of now, uh, mostly these tokens are ERC-20 tokens that are built on top of Ethereum, and these are the tokens that you'd be able to swap to and from using these, centra using these decentralized exchanges. Now, uh, one inch exchange differentiates, differentiates itself from other decentralized exchanges in the sense that it is a decentralized exchange aggregator, which means that it aggregates the prices of multiple decentralized of the prices of the coin on multiple decentralized exchanges, and then it grabs the best price and it offers it to you. So, basically, uh, one inch gets tries to get you the best price in order to reduce fees and to uh, make it easier for the customer uh, overall. So. With the, uh, like I said, One Inch Exchange is a non-custodial DEX aggregator that rolls these advantages into a single platform. So, One Inch Exchange was developed by uh, these two Russian uh, guys back in 2019 because they wanted to solve the issue that I just mentioned, being that the uh, price fluctuation and the slippage that you would uh, that you would go through is that you would go through on these other decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap and SushiSwap is, was too great and was an issue that they wanted to resolve. So they basically came out in 2019 and said they wanted to tackle this issue. And uh, so at the current moment, you, uh, One Inch offers uh, 250 digital currencies and they are constantly adding more currencies onto them. So in the future, we will see more support for other currencies as well. Now, the aim of One Inch is simple and straightforward, as I stated, and is to offer the best rates uh, for its users by discovering the most efficient swapping routes from leading DEX providers. Okay, so as I stated, uh, I just summarized basically how One Inch works. It tries to find the best possible route. And another thing I want to mention too is that because uh, because slippage and liquidity is a big issue when it comes to decentralized exchanges, it is a uh, big problem because, for example, if I had some currency and I wanted to swap it out for, if I had some Ethereum and I swapped it out for an X token, and that X token did not have enough liquidity in the liquidity pools on these decentralized exchanges, then it would be impossible, or uh, it would, yeah, basically it would be impossible for me to exit that position. So if I had, if I swapped it for whatever token I wanted to swap it for, then that token would not be able to, uh, I would not be able to swap it back to Ethereum because nobody has that token stored into the liquidity pools. So what One Inch is trying to do is basically grab the liquidity that's found on multiple decentralized exchanges, and that way it uh, is easier for the people who are using the network to uh, exit their position and able to uh, find liquidity when it comes to selling their coins. So. Now we want to talk about how you can start using One Inch and what's the most notable feature. So one of the most notable features about One Inch is the fact that One Inch does not support fiat on ramps and off ramps. So for example, if you wanted to convert your US dollar, yen, British pound, etc., over to cryptocurrencies, you cannot do that using the One Inch Exchange. What you would have to do first is use a centralized entity such as Coinbase or Binance buy some cryptocurrency, then send it over to a decentralized wallet, the one that you have control over in terms of private keys. And then from there, you would be able to uh, interact with the One Inch Exchange with your wallet. And then from there, you uh, would be able to swap using the tokens. And another thing I want to mention is that since uh, One Inch is a decentralized exchange, 
they never have control over your cryptocurrencies because you're attaching it to these wallets. So therefore, your funds will never be at risk for being uh, hacked or stolen. And there is no security breaches that can occur because you will always be in control of your cryptocurrencies and therefore you will be safe. Now, scrolling down, uh, this is going to walk you through how to actually walk. Uh, it's basically telling you how to swap on the exchange, which I'm going to walk you through in just a bit. But I just wanted to touch upon the specific wallets that's supported by OneInch. And I'm just going to read them. So Web3, Wallet Connect, Wallet Link, Ledger, Portis, Mew, Taurus, Formatic, Authorium, and Bitsky, and specifically uh, MetaMask. MetaMask is the one that's most used by the people in the cryptocurrency space. So if you have any one of these wallets, you'd be able to interact with the one inch exchange. Now, thing I want to mention is that just uh, for using the one inch exchange back in before the date of September 2020, you were incentivized uh, for you were basically rewarded for using the exchange in terms of uh, the one inch token. The one inch token is currently trading at a price point of five dollars and sixty six cents. And for the users who interacted with the protocol and traded uh, at least a worth of at least twenty dollars worth of cryptocurrencies on the exchange was given free was given free one inch tokens which now is uh trading again at six dollars and it was basically a bonus for those who uh use the exchange and it was a way for the people to it was a way for one inch exchange to grab users and come and use their incentivize them to use the exchange so that was something that was nice that happened uh but that's something in the past now moving forward uh one inch, the aim of OneInch again is to reduce the fees on the network. So uh, OneInch Exchange as an exchange platform does not charge you any fees or commission to use its services. However, we mentioned you are liable to pay for gas cost of your transactions. And uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the deposit and withdrawal fees. As I mentioned earlier, there is uh, no deposit and withdrawal fee because of the fact that you are just connecting your wallet over to the exchange so there is no deposit and withdrawals you just connect your wallet and then the only fee that you would be charged is the fee associated with the swapping the uh whatever currency you're trying to associate so with the transaction fee is the only one you're going to pay and uh, uh another bonus thing that you uh would like to hear again is that there is no security breaches because of the fact you are not storing any of, of your personal information on the exchange it has never been hacked and their security has never been breached so that's a very positive note on one inch so speaking of the positive notes on one inch i want to go over to the pros and cons i'm just going to read this list really quick and then i'm going to show you again how to uh use the exchange so the first pro is that one inch exchange maintains a good track of record and no security breaches we just stated that the interface of the platform is clear and easy to navigate yes it is there are don't there are no additional fees involved yes as a dex aggregator uh you have the ability to uh take advantage of the liquidity pools that are found in multiple decentralized exchanges. That's what it's mentioned here. And yeah, that's uh, basically it. So now the cons is that the platform is not easily accessible for those who are novice again, once again, so you would have to use a cryptocurrency uh, on ramp and off ramp uh, exchange in order to do that first in order to interact with one inch. And then uh, some people might find that the, uh, some traders might find that the lack of fiat deposit method methodology is discouraging and uh, but I believe that once you educate yourself about the space and you constantly uh, try to learn and educate yourself and you're being positive, then uh, you learn as you grow and we can grow together as a team and let's learn how to use the exchange together, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna perform a transaction. So this is the one inch exchange. Uh, you would just type in, you would just type in one inch in Google and then uh, it would take you to one inch dot exchange. Then from there, uh, they give you the option to connect your wallet. So on the top right hand corner, you would connect your wallet and you would first have to have a uh, MetaMask wallet or one of these wallets uh, ready to be able to do this. So if you don't know any, anything about that, I'm going to link a video to how to use MetaMask right over here so you guys can learn about that. So I'm going to click MetaMask and attach my MetaMask wallet. And just like that, I'm already uh, connected. So then I can just hit the X button and I'm going to show you how to perform a transaction. In order for me to do so, I would simply go over to where it says my balance and I would click on my balance and then it would give me the option to input how much Ethereum I would like to swap over to whatever currency I am trying to attain. So for example, if I wanted to swap over 0.05 Ethereum, then I would simply press that in and then I would get a ratio at which I would convert uh, to the currency I'm trying to swap. So, so, so for example, if I had uh, 0.05 Ethereum, it would give me 
80 USDC in return. Now, if I wanted to choose a, a different cryptocurrency, then I could just simply click over here and choose whatever cryptocurrency that I am trying to um, get my hands on. So if I click die, it would also change the conversion ratio. I would simply just have to wait for it to go through and give me that number. Or if I wanted to swap over to, there you go, it gave me a number of 80 die. So it's in return for 0.05 Ethereum, I'm going to receive 80 die, and the estimated fee would be $36.95. Now that is the transaction fee. So in total, I would be paying this amount, $81 plus $36, and that's $110. And in return, I would receive 80 die. So the transaction fee just went up according to the congestion. So I'm guessing the network is pretty congested right now because the transaction fee just went through. The transaction fee just uh, went pretty high. So I'm not going to confirm this transaction because the uh, fee is a little bit too high for my liking. But for, uh, for show purposes, I'm going to show you that I can accept this offer if I wanted to. As you can see, the gas fee just keeps increasing due to congestion on the network. So I'd be paying $61, and in addition to the $80 worth of die, I'd be paying a total of $141. So uh, I'm going to reject this transaction, and it will not go through. But if I did press accept, then it would go through according to um, the congestion on the network. So the more congested the network is, the longer period of time it would take for my funds to appear in my wallet. Now. With one inch, one inch exchange, you can also perform limit orders. So if you wanted to buy at a specific price point, then you can do that as well. But you would have, but what you would have to have in your wallet is not Ethereum, but wrapped Ethereum. You can only do limit orders on this exchange if you have wrapped Ethereum in your wallet. So what you would have to do first is take your Ethereum, wrap it, and then use your wrapped Ethereum in order to convert to whatever currency you want to, um, again, get your hands on. So. You would simply just put in the amount. So if I wanted to do one Ethereum worth, um, then I would simply put in the amount that I'm trying to convert again. So I would click balance and I would put in, for example, uh, 0.1 Ethereum. Now it's not going to show me an actual number because of the fact that I don't have any wrapped Ethereum in my wallet. So it's going to give me false information. It says infinity, which doesn't really happen. Uh, so you would have to have wrapped Ethereum in your wallet first, and then you would choose the price point at which you would like to buy, and it would give you a time limit of which you would want this to expire. So if the price never reaches the specific point at which you're trying to buy, and in the specific time frame that you're trying to achieve it in, then the transaction won't go through, and you would simply receive the uh, amount of Ethereum that you locked into this smart contract. So that's basically how you use the exchange. There's nothing else to it. You can just have this option over here. If you would like to cancel all orders, you can do that. And it's going to give you a transaction fee. Now, I don't have any transactions, so that, that doesn't really apply to me, but that's how you use the exchange overall. One inch exchange uh, obviously has its perks and it has its downfalls, as we spoke about earlier, through the pros and cons. But if you would like to use its exchange, Go, go right ahead, and I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you guys find this video beneficial and you guys learned something, please make sure, again, that you hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.